Hi, everyone. I figured that since I'm going to be explaining to you how we're screencasting, I'll show you how to do it in a screencast. Kind of seems fitting. So what I'll do is I'll go to the Chrome store. I already have this up. You just go to the Chrome store and you'll be searching for this Chrome extension called Free Screencast Recording for Gmail. I'll include a link for you in the blog post, so don't worry about that. Um, I will add this to Chrome. I'll add the extension, and then it'll prompt me to go back into my Gmail account, and it will ask me to create an account. So here we go. I will now create an account. And I now have a CloudHQ account. Uh, and I got an email from myself. <laughs> Uh, and now you'll see actually also at the bottom of my email, you can now go ahead and record and send your video email with that icon that now just popped up. And we'll get there in a minute, but first things first, I really want to show you how to take advantage of branding. So I'm going to go up to my dashboard, and I'm going to go into this app that I have installed. I just, just installed it. It was the screencast recording one. Uh, and I'm going to customize it. So here I can choose a picture. Uh, let's do my personal picture. Um, and I'll change my message, my display text. So how to brand your screencast recording. And um, as we go further down here, I can also change like the colors here. So if I want to make something a little bit more vibrant, I can. Um, so I'm changing it kind of to like a more of a blue, I guess, more of a bright blue. And so I will save those changes now. I can close up my color wheel. Cool. Save changes, done. Um, and then I'll go back here. I no longer need to have my dashboard. In fact, I can even close up that tab. I don't need that tab anymore. And I am going to actually screencast the screencast. <laughs> So I'm going to just share my entire screen. You can choose what you want to share, whether it's an application tab, an application window, or a Chrome tab. You can. I'll just do my whole screen so you can see what I see. And now I'm sharing. I'm just going to minimize it. And let's see. Let's go into, for example, uh, a Trulia listing. And we can maybe look at rooms. We see a room for rent on California Street, um, an apartment to rent. Uh, and we can say whatever we want on this screencast to whoever we're sending it to. And then let's now go back in there and finish that screencast. So I'll stop right there. That's going to prepare the upload. And it's attaching it into this email. And now I can send it to. I'll send it to myself. <laughs> uh, okay, so I'll send that off, and now I have that. Now, if I go into send emails, I'll just look at that for a second. And let's take a look at what we just created together. See that image we just loaded? So now I'm sharing. Oh. I'm just going to minimize it. So that's our image here that we just created together. We just uploaded that. We just set up that message, and we've just changed that blue to a different color blue. And as we go along, and let's see, let's go into, for example, uh, a Trulia listing. And we can maybe look at rooms. We see a room for rent on California Street. And so as you can see, this is exactly what we just created together. We just created that screencast, so it was successful. You can make it large, or you can make it smaller. It's up to you. It's whoever is receiving this can do that. And that is the end of how to set up your screencast. So I hope that was helpful. And I'll include all the necessary links in our blog post. And I hope that now you understand how to go ahead and brand your screencast recording.